Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a brand new QNAP NAS. It's only been around for a couple of weeks now. I want to talk about the TBS 453DX. <laughs> For those that aren't aware, I already talked about it on the other YouTube channel, but today I want to go into a little bit more detail about the specs and the internals of this device. It's still going to be an unboxing, but with a little bit more emphasis on those internals. Now, this device retails for about 408 to 500 quid without the VAT, without the uh, media inside, and that's the 4 gig model. It's available with 4 or 8 gig of memory, that's DDR4, so 2100 megahertz, uh, 2133 megahertz. Uh, memory and it arrives with the Intel J series CPU that popular one that we're seeing around But this is the newer variation of that chip the J4105 a very very powerful chip indeed That CPU has great for transcoding 4k play uh, playback Virtualization large-scale backup surveillance and more now the device itself once again is available from span.com but it is worth mentioning that the media inside has to be ssd this four bay utilizes brand new m2 ssd ssds um that's available on a solid state drive even that's available i believe currently up to about two terabytes in that form i think there are larger capacities out there but not in the commercial sector uh, the device itself has all kinds of hardware functionality and features that really do make it an enviable device notwithstanding the fact that it is very very petite and quiet as you'll see but it also arrives with 10 GBE connectivity, copper based. It arrives with an HDMI 2.0A port, so 4K with great fidelity there, as well as a multitude of USB ports and on the sides, uh, stereo speakers, which we've covered in a previous video. But without further ado, let's switch over to the other camera and get this unboxing started. Okay, so here's the retail box. Again, it's a lot smaller than a number of boxes we've seen previously. Let's get this bad boy open. Go through here, hopefully not shake the camera too much. Get that out of there. And again, like many QNAP NASs, this device arrives with a plethora of accessories. So if we move that box over there, we can take a look inside. And again, we have already kind of done some tests with this device. You can see there it is, very, very small indeed. If we look at the front there, very, very small. And on top of that, we've got those stereo speakers on either side and again we have done audio tests on these i do recommend you check those out along with a plethora of those ports and connections on top of that the unit does arrive with a host of accessories some of those include lan cables obviously you're going to need those to have network connectivity and i'm pleased to say these work with both the 10 gbe and the 1 gbe ports on top of that an external power blick and do bear in mind this does use a cloverleaf connector for that external PSU. And again, quite a low powered tiny PSU here, but do bear that in mind. On top, we have got heatsink panels for the internal NVMEs, and they've given you loads of spares there in case you want to swap to different drives. <clears throat> and incredible heatsink um, panels there as well. But these are the, the proper ones, not just, they're not just relying on these. These are the thermal panels, even that attach to these on those NVMEs. Go in there. On top of that, we've got the quick start installation guide, which is always helpful and a good. I've always liked the fact that it's a paper manual too. And on top of that, screws for installing drives. We've already got a couple of drives inside this for the speed test. And lastly, just the warranty information there. Now we can talk about the device itself. On the front here, we've got a one-touch USB backup button and a couple of USB 3 ports there on the front for connecting that external storage. We have LEDs for system access and um, system performance, as well as network connectivity and volume buttons for those stereo speakers, and of course a power button. We've got the stereo speakers mentioned earlier. That's one of them, along with another USB port on the side another stereo sport now on the rear we see a whole host of connections let's go more interesting as we go so the one that kind of disappointed me a little bit straight off the bat was those usb 2 ports i'm not hugely impressed by those i'm not 100 percent certain why qnf have gone to the trouble of including those maybe for keyboard and mouse you know kvm to go with the hdmi port but still i'm not hugely certain what these are going to be for other than normal storage and in that case you'd use one of those plethora of usb 3 ports We've also got the HDMI port, which again supports 1080p and 4K 
at 60 frames per second on supported display devices. So remember that you, um, HDMI 2.0a, which when, when used in conjunction with HD Station, gives you a whole host of performance and software attributes that you can't get any other way. Next, LAN connectivity, with the LAN connectivity there being both 10GBE and 1GBE, means that you can connect to this directly over 10GBE if you so choose for live editing or introduce it to a 10GBE network so that all the connected devices can get maximum bandwidth where possible. Finally, you've got the 1GBE port as well, which will connect it to a standard network too. Then you've got audio in and out, so for speakers and a couple of microphones, which can then be utilized by Linux Station, by Karaoke TV, by VMs, HD Station, and more. There's some great apps on there, official and otherwise, for things like Skype and communication tools all over the place. And finally, that power connector for that external power brick. Now, this device is tiny. If we pop it down there, it is absolutely minute. To put it into perspective, that's my wallet. That is how small this device is. Now, on the rear, I'm oh, sorry, it is kind of copper, it's plastic in its chassis, but if we remove the feet, we come across removable pins for getting to the internals of this device and of course installing those drives. I've already removed two of the screws, so if we remove the other two here for camera, we'll be able to see the internals of this device. Now again, this is compared favorably with the new silent NAS from QNAP, the HS453DX. These two devices are very similar indeed, featuring exactly the same quad-core high-end Celeron CPU, but whereas that device centers on the silence factor with hard drives, and that's two hard drives and two SSDs, this relies on four SSDs, but because they're M2s, does have a small internal fan. Now I've had this thing running for numerous different reasons in previous videos on the other channel and I can confirm that that fan is very quiet indeed. So if we look on the inside of this device and maybe lighten up that light a little bit, we can see firstly those DDR4 memory slots, two of them, four in each. And of course unofficially you can take this up to 16 gig. On top of that, you've got M uh, um, SSD storage. And again, not NVMe, do bear that in mind. That is traditional SSD 6 gigabits per second connectivity SATA. Now, we have got an additional chip underneath there, and that chip is handling the network connectivity. It's the Aquantia chip, and we have that big old fan here that's promoting air in and out of this device when in use. But again, we will be doing further speed tests on this over 10 GBE and Thunderbolt 10 GBE in coming videos. We've already done a stereo test on this device, but I'll be honest, as devices go, I think this is a promising start to 2019. It would be good to see more devices feature some of the hardware featured in this, but at, at this scale and this portability, it is definitely a device to keep an eye on. And I mean, if you want to talk about scale, this is how big my hand is and how big the device is. Just think how easy it would be to carry this on you and then deploy for instant Thunderbolt to 10GBE or 10GBE connectivity with a Thunderbolt laptop. So I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this to support the channel. Cheerio.